Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use input statement in Basic 256. In the previous video, we have seen how to use print statement and how to use variables while programming in Basic 256. Now we will see what is the use of input statement. So input statement is used to accept values from the user when we run the program. So basically, when we are running the program, then it will ask you to enter the values. For example, we write input enter a number in double quotes comma a so it will ask the user to enter a number and store it in variable a so basically when you run this line so it will give you a prompt this enter a number is a prompt this is a message which will be displayed in the text output area and whatever number you will be entering it will be stored in the variable you specify over here similarly if you write input enter your name comma and dollar so in this case it will ask the user to enter name and store it in variable n. And now you might remember in the previous video, we have seen what is string variable and what is numeric variable. So here n is a string variable. We use dollar sign after string variable, whereas a is a numeric variable. So that kind of things we have to keep in mind when we are writing the program in basic 256. So now we will see how to use input statement in basic 256. So Suppose till now we were writing a program like this. If we have to write a program to find sum of two numbers, we used to write like this, like suppose a equal to 10, b equal to 20, sum equal to a plus b. And then print sum is plus sum. And then when we run the program, it will give us the output sum is 30. Whenever we will run the program, it will always give the output sum is 30. Because what we have done is we have written the values of a and b when we were writing the program. Now what we will do is we will use input statement which will ask the user to enter the number when we run the program in the text output area. So we can enter any number here and then it will give the sum of those numbers. So let us change this program a little bit and now we will use input statement here to accept the values from the user. So input enter a number and we will store this number in A input enter second number and we will store this number in B. So whatever we write in double quotation mark will be coming as a, as a message or as a prompt in the text output area. So now the program is same only we have used input statement here and now we will run the program. It is asking us to enter a number and it will wait for you to enter the number. The, um, this cursor is coming over here. So I am entering 50. Enter second number. Again the cursor is coming here and waiting for you to enter another number. Suppose I am entering 90. It is showing sum is 140. So whenever you run the program, suppose I run the program again, I can enter any other number and then I can find the sum of numbers here. Okay. So you can run the program multiple times. The advantage is whenever you are running the program, you can enter different values and find the sum, which was not possible earlier when we were not using input statement. Okay. Now we will see another example in which we will accept, we will write a program to input name, class, roll number, and age. Suppose we have to write this program which will accept name, class, roll number, and age. And we will use input statement for all these things to enter all these values. So we will now change the program a little bit. So first of all, we will write enter name, comma. Suppose n is a variable I am taking for name. And name is what? It's a string variable. It contains text. Now, second input statement, enter class. So as I told in my previous video also, if you have to write your class as 6 or 7, you can take it as a numeric variable. But if you have to write section also like 6th A, 7th A, 7th B, then you have to take it as a string variable. So it's up to you whether you want to take section or you just want to take the class. So I am taking class with section, so I have written C dollar here. Now input, enter age comma suppose i am storing the age in a now what we have to do is it is accepting all the values now we will be printing it so print name is plus sign n dollar print class is plus sign c dollar so remember with input we use comma we, with print we use plus sign Okay, so whatever details we have entered, we have printed it. Now we will run the program. 
to enter name i am entering any name like john i am entering the class as 6b i am entering the age as 10 so it is showing the result name is john class is 6b age is 10 simple program which is just accepting the values and printing the values no calculation is done over here now we will see a program in which it will input item name price and quantity find total cost then you can also enter discount as or we can just enter discount and then find net cost now we will do little bit calculation also here in this program not just simply entering and printing the values so we will enter item name so we will again use input statement to enter item name then we are entering price so price is what it's a number so we are taking p for price and then quantity i am taking the variable q for quantity and now if i am having price and quantity how will i get total cost total equal to p into q okay then it will print total cost so print total cost is plus total so basically if you're having price and if you're having quantity how will you get the total cost or to multiply them after that it will ask you to enter how much discount so we can enter discount here also in d now we have to print net cost so net cost will be what suppose your total cost comes out to be 100 rupees and you get a discount of 10 rupees so how much you have to pay you have to pay 100 minus 10 that is 90 so same here so net cost will be net equal to total minus d make sure when you are writing variable name like total net don't give a space in between the variable name now we will print all the details we will print discount then we will print net cost <coughs> okay so let's run the program so item name suppose i am taking pen price suppose i am taking 50 quantity i am taking 2 so total cost will be 50 into 2 that is 100 now how much discount we want to give suppose i want to give a discount of rupees 10 so discount is 10 net cost will be 90 so 100 is the total cost you are paying a discount of rupees 10 then you have to pay how much rupees 100 minus 10 90 so this is a simple program where we are doing some calculations to find total cost now now let us change this program a little bit what we want is we want to calculate discount as calculate discount as 10 percent of total cost that means whatever is your total cost discount will be 10 percent of that so how will you find 10 percent of any value suppose n is a value i am just showing you here suppose n is any value how will you get 10 percent of any value for that we do n into 10 upon 100 and if you have to get 20 percent of any value you have to do n into 20 upon 100 it's a simple maths so here we will do the same thing now instead of entering discount here what we will do we will calculate discount so d equal to d is what discount is 10 percent of total cost so total into 10 upon 100 we have to find 10 percent of total cost now that of the rest of the things will remain the same only discount we are calculating instead of entering the discount here it will automatically calculate the discount this discount as 10 percent of total cost run the program again uh, suppose i am taking chips Size I am taking 20 rupees and amount I am taking suppose 10, 10 chips packets I want to purchase. So it is showing total cost is 200, 20 into 10, 200. And what is 10% of 200? It is 20 rupees. 20 rupees discount you are getting and the net cost is 180. So this is how we can write a program in which we can enter some values by using input statement. 